Writing your first node script is super easy. We know that how to use the tuple environment. But executing JavaScript through tuple environment is time consuming. So let's create our first node script and run it using node command. So let's create a new file in the Visual Studio Code Editor and write our first node script. So I'm going to just open the Visual Studio Code Editor and I'm going to just click on this Explorer tab. When I click on it, here I'm going to have an option, Open Folder. I'm going to click on this Open Folder and then I'm going to select my empty folder and open it in the Visual Studio Code Editor. So here I'm going to have the tutorial empty folder open inside this Visual Studio Code Editor. I'm going to close this welcome window and here I'm going to create a new file for Node Script. So I'm going to click on this new file icon and specify a name for my file. Here I'm going to say index.js. Now, as I said earlier, Node is not a language. So you don't have to specify a different extension to write a Node script. Node is used to execute JavaScript. So I'm going to say here index.js and create this file. So as you know, Node provide a console module which provide a tons of very useful ways to interact with command line. The most basic and used method in JavaScript is console.log, which prints the string you pass to it to the console. So let me just say here console.log and in the parentheses, I'm going to say node app. I'm going to just save the changes by pressing Ctrl S. I'm going to save this file and now I want to execute this file in the node. So I'm going to just open my terminal. I'm going to click on this terminal. When you open your terminal, you can execute this file using node command. So let me just execute this file using node command. So here I'm going to say node and then I'm going to specify the path of this file. So here I'm going to say index.js. As you know, I have this file inside this tutorial folder. So I'm going to just say here index.js. When I press enter, I'm going to have node app as a result. So node is going to execute this JavaScript code inside this terminal. You can execute any JavaScript code using this node command. For example, if I create here a simple JavaScript code, so if I just see here constant A is equal to 5 and constant B is equal to 10. Then if I just see here console.log and print both these variables just like this, then the node is going to print both these variables on the console. But you just need to first save this file and execute this command again. So I'm going to have 5 and 10 as a result. Now, if you want, you can format this log message by passing variable and a format specifier. For example, let me just get rid of this statement. And in the double quote, I'm going to say a is equal to, and then here I'm going to call modulus operator, then specify s, and then specify here. And b is equal to modulus operator, and then I'm going to pass s here. So here I'm going to pass the reference of two variables. And then I'm going to pass variables by specifying here a second argument. So here I'm going to say comma and then specify A and B just like this. Save the changes, save this file and execute node index.js command again. When I execute this file, you can notice I'm going to have a result A is equal to 5 and B is equal to 10. Now you can notice when you make any changes inside the node file, you need to execute this command to execute the node script. You know that when working with big project, you waste your lot of time. To solve this problem, I'm going to just install a simple extension to execute this node script. So what I'm going to do is, let me just close this terminal and here I'm going to open the extension tab and here I'm going to search for code runner. So here I'm going to say code runner. And I'm going to just install this extension in my Visual Studio Code Editor. I'm going to click on it and install this extension in my Visual Studio Code Editor. I already installed this extension, so I'm not going to do it again. Once you've done that, just open your setting file. So just press Ctrl P and open this setting.json file. Here you can notice, I just specify some settings to this Code Runner extension. So here I'm going to say Code Runner Map, and then I'm going to specify Python and JavaScript command. And then here I'm going to specify code runner show executable message false and the code runner clear previous output true. So you just need to add this setting, save all the changes, close this setting file and open the explorer tab. And instead of executing node command, you just need to run this command using code runner. So what you need to do is you just need to select this code and right click on it. And here you can find the code runner option, run code. And the shortcut of executing this node file is alt s. 
maybe you have different shortcut for executing code. You can change it anytime whenever you want. I'm going to just click on this run code. When I click on it, you can notice I'm going to have the output tab and here I'm going to have my result. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just make some changes inside my file. So I'm going to just get rid of this message from this console and here I'm going to just multiply A by B just like this. Let me save the changes and execute my file. You can notice I'm going to have 50 as a result. So using this extension, this is super easy to execute your node script. So I hope you understand how to create and execute your first node script. Next, we'll talk about modules.